and that stumped. Well, what a start for Stuart McGill. Really, he frustrated Gary Kirsten. And Kirsten really showed that he's not a very good player of spin. Came down the spin and spun past the pads there. And a good take by Haddon. And let's see where this pitch is. Outside leg stump, turns a long way. Haddon does well with the feet as much as the hands. And that's a great piece of work. Looked a bit sloppy in the end, but very effective. The first wicket goes down with 67 on the board. That's a bad one. Now, in the air, and that brilliant catch by Mark Higgs. That was a fantastic catch, and Kerry, not always the best balls get the wickets, do they? They don't indeed, but uh, this was more Mark Higgs's catch than the quality of the delivery or the lack of it. Boy, that's a good effort. He misfilled it in, in the previous over, allowed four runs, but in the air, this is, he's chased a wide. He didn't get as much on it, but that's a leap and is that bloody catch or not mark higgs take a bat but they don't come any better than that it's three for 235. justin on tong the new batsman 1811 runs three centuries the wicket just a couple of minutes to go and a wrong and first up might have picked up just a little edge comes to the wicket didn't quite pick it haven't seen many wrong ones from Stuart McGill today oh dear. well bowled again just aiming for that rough drive not quite on particularly for a new batsman Oh, McGill's in the frame here. A non-picked wrong and in a big stretch to, to push down the line to a big leggy. Yeah! That should be out. Caught behind. So Stuart McGill in this last over before the tea break has picked up two wickets. Now on Tong there showing a complete lack of experience against leg spin. Just throwing the pad down and defensively going at it. Went at it for a tentative type drive and not a bad catch either because that was going off the bat. Yeah. Popping, beautifully set up by Stuart McGill. Lance Klusner, not a clue coming in at number six against McGill. It was just a matter of time. Well, he set him up with it. The top spinner, a big big spinner that took him on the pads and then finally wide of off stump the big gap Warren went through that in Adelaide McGill's gone through it here it's five for 239 yeah! trapped in front is he he's out McGill gets his five for tremendous effort by McGill well what an absolutely sensational over Brought back on in lieu of the second new ball, and he's just ripped three past the outside edge. Now this one is did a pitch outside leg stump. He's played well back inside his crease, and that looks absolutely. Ugly. I think that is hitting off stump. Off stump for mine, 47, six for three, four, four. Big smiles for McGill. He's got five. 32 overs on day one in the Shield game. Well, that is Warnesque. It is, and. Um selector David Byrne is at the ground he came here to have a look at a fair few players and the blue selectors scratched most of those players but he did come here to see Stuart McGill and he would have liked what he's seen so far oh absolutely without question uh, let's have a look at it again the big question does it pitch outside leg stump and it's so hard to tell because Bouch has covered the stump so we've got nothing to go on but only a, a piece of the ball has to like just the, the left hand edge you know, and that is comprehensive. I'm pretty sure that wasn't missing off. Henry, I think it was the four balls before that ball which actually got the wicket. Pull this. I'm not going to get LBW to it. Ah! Is that the top spinner? Yes. Going straight on. McGill got him. 75. Gibbs is gone. Well, if it is a straight one, that is a good piece 
a strategic bowling by Stewie McGill. We talked about the only way he gets an LBW is with the straight on one. The one out of the front of the hand. And this is full. Hits him on the half volley. And that's pretty close. One for 109. Now that's in the air. This should be out. And that's disappointing end of that innings. Michael Clark taking the catch down the backward square leg. About 20 metres from the bat. Gary Kirsten no doubt would have liked to have got 100. Certainly was. He's worked very hard and now they're pretty happy to get one. This here, Gutsy called a sweep. It bounced, took the top edge. He knows he's dead there. And that brings up McGill's seventh wicket for the match. Two wickets in this innings. And now they're two for 190. Is there an edge there? They heard the noise. There was an edge. A little mini collapse here. He was scratchy this morning. And he just got a scratch on that one as well. Yeah, it's been a lengthy innings and he's not that happy either. But we'll have a look at this. It's well taken by Haddon. It's hit something there. That was obviously a big noise. Rudolph doesn't think it's bad. Um, it's tough to tell front on. Obviously a noise, but the wicket's down anyway. It's now four for 200. <laughs> In front, big appeal. Well now, that <laughs> might have turned too far. He picked that well, didn't he? Uh, you no. Know, is it missing leg? No, that is <laughs> middle stuff and when Bob Barry sees that replay, he will be embarrassed because this is hitting middle stump. Oh, that well, is palpably LBW. <laughs> he didn't show the wrong one too much in the first innings, but we're seeing it in the last three overs. Yeah! Oh, got him with the edge. This time he's out, so he did no damage. It's a pair. Another one for On Tong. Two pairs, one for Bluesner, one for On Tong. He'd be a batsman. Well, he hasn't read that at all, has he? He's missed the wrong one. He's nicked the leg spinner. He's uh, out. And that is almost oh, identical fashion to the first season. He drove a very full ball from McGill. Didn't play for the spin. Now five for two.